Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I want to talk about running iOS 11 on your daily driver. This is a question that a lot of you have been asking me. So I want to talk about my experience performance-wise, my battery life, usability, and whether or not I think you should be running iOS 11 on your daily driver. So first up, I am running iOS 11 on my daily driver. I took the plunge back with iOS 11 beta 3, which is kind of risky because it was only the third beta out of the four that have been released, but it's been pretty good. Beta 3 was a little bit more rocky than beta 4, but I've really enjoyed my time spent with it so far. So first up, performance. Is iOS 11 faster than iOS 10? Absolutely not. Every single time I go back to a phone running iOS 10.3.3 after becoming so accustomed to iOS 11, my brain has to take a hot second to readjust because I'm not used to everything loading instantly and being quick. Everything in iOS 10.3.3 feels extremely stable and refined, which would make sense because iOS 10 has been out for practically a year now, well over a year if you count that part of the beta cycle last year. iOS 11 is so new and Apple changed so much that a lot of the animations are slow and sluggish and opening apps is so much slower than iOS 10. But to be fair, the animations in iOS 11 do look a lot better. So Apple has some work to do performance wise. It is nowhere near as fast as iOS 10. So if that's something that has been holding you back, even in iOS 11 beta 4, it's not there yet, but maybe beta 5 will make some improvements. All right, now I wanna talk about battery life. So I've been running this since iOS 11 beta 3 on my daily driver, now we're on iOS 11 beta 4, and I made a separate video talking about this, which I'll link up here in the top right-hand corner of the screen just a couple of weeks ago, and I'm gonna stick with roughly what I said in that video, but to summarize, it's not as good as iOS 10. Do not go into iOS 11 thinking, you know, maybe he's just saying that it, it could be better, the battery life in iOS 11 is not as good as iOS 10. Your phone will get worse battery life. I'm putting that disclaimer out there because I don't want anybody to get a different idea. It's just not as good as iOS 10 yet. But it's also not terrible. Don't think that when you install this, your phone is gonna die in two or three hours. I'm getting a decent amount of usability out of the day. So to put it in hours, I'd say maybe an hour or two worse battery life than iOS 10, which is not awful, but at the same time, it's not as good as well. So if you're upgrading to iOS 11, battery life is good, just not there yet. Now that being said, I wanna hear about your experiences with battery life. So if you're already running iOS 11, let me know by leaving a comment down below about your experience with the battery and the performance, because while I'm just one person, I think you can get a better feel if a lot of people share their experiences. So tell me about your iOS 11 experience down below to help anybody out that's thinking about making the jump. The third thing that I wanna talk about in iOS 11 is usability. Is this as easy to use and understand as iOS 10? And I would say absolutely, I love all the new features. The new Siri is incredible. If you say, something about searching for a video by iUpdateOS. She can spell out iUpdateOS somehow. The voice recognition seems to be a lot better over iOS 10. I like the new design. Even though the animations are slower, I like those. And it's definitely easy to understand. Any new features like Control Center are the same. You just swipe up from the bottom of the screen to the top and you have a new Control Center. Customizing Control Center is easy. Notification Center, or what's now called the cover sheet, where you swipe down and it sort of used to take you to the lock screen, that has gotten a lot better as well with new swipe gestures and everything is really coming together. So while performance and battery life at this point in the game are worse on iOS 11 than iOS 10, usability is not. Everything that Apple has added is easy to use, easy to understand, and it all feels really intuitive. So all that being said, should you be running iOS 11 on your daily driver? The official iUpdateOS recommendation is no, wait a little bit, but the unofficial, you should totally do everything because it's iOS 11 recommendation is yes, you should install it right now. It's a really good firmware. If you're a developer, we're currently on beta four. If you're a public beta tester, we're currently on beta three. Either of those will not cause you any major headaches or issues. I have not lost any data along the way and it's been really great. However, the official recommendation, the better safe than sorry route rather than the I guess better sorry than safe route is to wait till beta five or six if you're a developer or public beta four or five if you're a public beta tester, just because there are some things to smooth out. And if you wait till then, you'll have the best experience. If you do it now, you'll have a slightly less best experience, but it's still gonna be really good. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, it would really help me out if you hit that like button down below. And of course, down below in the comment section, if you've been trying iOS 11 once again, let me know about your experience. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you later.